the graph below shows the function y is equal to f of x. On the axis below, sketch the graph of the gradient function. So you've got a graph of a given function, looks like a cubic function. And you want to find the gradient or draw the graph of the gradient function. So it's only a sketch, so it's not exact. Okay. So when you're drawing the gradient function or graph of the gradient function, it's always uh, good to look at the uh, maximum and minimum, the critical points here, or the turning points. So this point, at this point, if you draw a tangent, the gradient is zero here. Okay. At this point, between uh, two and three, somewhere between two and three, the gradient is zero. So you've got a zero gradient here, you've got a zero gradient here. So let's plot that point on this axis. Uh, so yeah, you've got between zero and one, you have your gradient zero. So that you have, you're plotting the points of the important points. So at, between zero and one, you've got a zero gradient. Between two and three, closer to two, you have a zero gradient. So at these two points, you have a gradient of zero. Now, okay, now let us look at these points. At one, when x is one, the gradient is negative. The gradient is negative. So I'll make an estimate. So this has a negative gradient at this point. At this point, it is also negative. Okay. So at one, you have a negative gradient. At two, you have get, got a negative gradient. Okay. So at one, I'll make an estimate. The gradient is, say, negative one. At Two also, it seems, the gradient is negative one. Okay, now it's very interesting. How will the, how will you join these points? Okay, at one, at zero, you've got a positive gradient. So I'm making an estimate. You've got a gradient somewhere here. So you've got a positive gradient here. At When x is zero, you've got a positive gradient. Okay, at three, Again, you've got a positive gradient. So it's a positive gradient here. Okay, so it's only an estimate. Okay, now there is something very interesting that happens between the maximum and minimum. And uh, between maximum and minimum, or between these two points, there is a point which is called a point of inflection. Okay, now this is called a point of inflection. Is Generally, I can't talk about the second derivative in this video. There is a skill, there is a way in which you can find the second uh, point of inflection by doing the second derivative. Okay, I'll not go into that. So there is a point using logically, somewhere between these two points, one, a when x is one and two, where the, the, the graph of the gradient function will turn. So I'll explain what I mean. At this point, somewhere between one and two, okay, between one and two, this point is, this is negative at this point, but from this point, what happens is, the gradient become the, the concavity changes, okay, so what do I mean by that, okay, at this, there's a point here somewhere, okay, if you look at this branch of the graph, okay, if you look at this, I'll shade that with, and suppose in red. Suppose this is called, this part of the graph is called concave up. This is called concave up. Sorry, concave down. Sorry, this is concave down. And this part of the graph is called concave up. Okay, so if you look at this, this it gives a good understanding what's the point of inflection. This point so this part of the graph is called concave up. Or you can visualize this as an umbrella or a ball. Okay, and this is an upside down uh, parabola or, a, or an umbrella. This is not an umbrella. This is a ball and this is an umbrella. Okay, so umbrella shaped is called concave down and ball shaped is concave up. So there is a point between concave up and concave down, which is called the point of inflection where the concavity changes. Okay, at this point, from this point, the concavity changes, or explain that in a different way. If you draw a tangent at this point, 
the tangent will be above the line and if you draw a tangent at any point on this part you will be it will be under the line or the concavity changes so I'll plot the point somewhere between 1 and 2 so the point is here okay and if you draw the graph the graph would look somewhat like this this is only a sketch so this is not a good uh, so this is a parabola so this is a parabola so again let me go over the points again this is this is your this is your maxima this is your maximum which is which this is your maximum this point is your minimum can you see you're getting maximum between 0 and 1 and you get the minimum between 2 and 3 closer to 2 at this point is the point of inflection this is the point of inflection that is where the concavity changes I'll explain this again if you draw a tangent at any point in concave down it will be above the above the egg above the curve and if you draw a tangent at in concave up it will be under the curve okay when you learn calculus next year or in year 13 when you learn the second derivative you'll come to know that yeah this at this at the point of inflection the second derivative is always equal to zero 